hey you guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be doing a love reading for the zodiac sign of aquarius so if you have aquarius in your birth chart this video may resonate with you so don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe also if you want to book a personal read with me just email me my email is in the description box down below okay so let's see what's going on for my aquarius also, you guys, I'm doing a personal reading sale, okay? I didn't post it on my community board yet. I was just going to say it on my video, okay? Because it seems like y'all don't be seeing what I post on my community board a lot. So, I'm just going to say it in my video. So, if you want to get a 10-minute reading from me, it's going to be $10, okay? I accept Cash App, Apple Pay, okay, and PayPal. So, this sale is going on until Monday. Okay, Monday morning, it's over with. Okay, so email me. My email is in the description box down below. But if you want to get like a longer reading, then it's going to just be the regular price of my readings. Okay, my reading prices. So let's see what's going on for a craze for my collective. Spirit guys will invite into some masters. So we have the Nine of Swords and the Two of Swords, okay? So you'd be connected to Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I'm seeing here that somebody here is in regret, okay, about how they treated you in the past, okay? Yeah, this person is like, they didn't want to make a decision about y'all connection, okay? This person, they just want to play the field, they want the... You know how to kick me to two, and this person could have been in denial about things that they needed to change. This person they didn't want to change. Yeah, they want to stay stuck. You know, doing what they do. And the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this person thought that. If they didn't make a decision or commit that they can have the best of both worlds. Like they just thought that you was going to just stick around because the other person that they could have been dealing with, you know, stuck around where they was acting a goddamn fool and treating them however they wanted to treat them. But you, you didn't allow that. And this person thought that you was going to be like the other person, you know, that they could have been dealing with. Yeah, I feel like you're going to invest elsewhere. And I feel like this person not making a decision on you will actually put a fighter underneath you. You know? Like, it made you become undistracted. Because I feel like this person could have been distracting you because it's like the Nine of Swords. I feel like this person played a lot of mind games. Okay, they could have caused you a lot of fear. You know, a lot of worry, anxiety, you know, headaches. I'm seeing here, like, you couldn't even sleep around this person or at all, okay? And this person, Seven of Cups, yeah, they thought that they had a hold over you mentally, okay? And they probably could have because, you know, it's like, they could have probably seen like certain things that they did it actually got to you how they wanted it to get to you and they and it caused you um a reaction that they wanted but i'm sitting here it's like you did a complete 180 on this person like you stop entertaining their foolishness okay and you realize to like this person has problems you're not the problem they're the problem and you're not going to keep allowing this person to make you feel insecure like you're not good enough, you know, because of their own fucked up ways that they don't want to see. Yeah. I feel like this person treated you like an option, okay? Like they didn't take things serious with you how you wanted them to take things serious with you. And I feel like you don't have no time to be playing no childish ass games, okay? Yeah, I feel like this person made you miss out on a lot of, like, opportunities as far as work. Okay. 
Yeah, I feel like this person was very like smothering, very demanding. Okay, this person could have been arrogant, controlling. And it's like, I feel like before you met this person, you was like organized. Okay, you had structure to your life. You was balanced. Okay. From, for some of y'all, y'all could have been celibate before you met this person. Celibate before you met this person. And it's like, you know, you broke your cel celibacy for this person, you know, and you turned out to regret it. And I feel like you beat yourself up for allowing this person to treat you a certain way because of the heart that you had, you know, because you've seen potential in this person. I feel like you're not going off potential anymore. Yeah, and this person, they knew that you was good catch here. It's like this person goes to people that they see, like, are on their shit. People that, you know, good-hearted, okay, hardworking. They go after people like that, okay? They see you as somebody that was vulnerable, you was nice, you was kind, you was sweet. And, you know, they use that to their advantage here. And I feel like they could be trying to seek out other people here that's going to entertain their foolishness here. Yeah, it's like this person is never satisfied. Like, they agree. Like, this person craves attention. They love attention. And it's like they're trying to see who else that they can use here. But I'm seeing here, it's like these bitches that be coming in thinking that this person has their shit together and have all together they don't it's like these bitches trying to use this person for what they don't have and that's because this person they put up a good front like they have this they have that their life is so put together they're perfect you know they wear a mask in the beginning then they show you their true selves okay and i feel like that's what happened with you and this person And I'm saying this person could be begging for you back. The judgment. Yeah, this person, they're going through karma here. And I feel like you're not around this person while they're going through this karma. You're allowing their ass to reap what the fuck they sow. And I feel like you're having good karma in this situation. Like, anything that this person took from you, you're getting that shit back. Okay? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you are working um on this business that you could be creating here some guys could be learning some type of new skill or you could be getting hired at a new job okay but you're working on getting your finances back because i feel like this person it really took a lot from you okay really and i feel like they don't have nothing here to show for what the fuck they took it's like as soon as this person gets something, it leaves them. Like they don't know how to maintain something, okay? This person is reckless. They have destructive behavior. The chariot, yeah. This person, I feel like they're used to people coming back into their lives, like people that they deal with. And I feel like you haven't came back into this person's life, like you completely went cold turkey on this person. Yeah, you're going towards a new commitment with the Ace of Cups here. Okay, a new romantic cycle is beginning for you where you're going to, you know, have the marriage. If you want to get pregnant, have a big family, That I see that happening for you. Okay, it's going to be genuine. It's going to be prayer. You have a deep love here. Your divine union is coming together, period. Three of um, Pentacles. And the Eight of Cups. Yeah, this person, they could have had you in a love triangle. And you didn't even know this. It's like before you even met this person, they already was dealing with somebody. Okay, and... You know, that wasn't going good. You know, like I said, this person is greedy. They always need more. And then you came along. They made it seem like they weren't messing with nobody. They were single. That You know, they could have promised you certain shit. And you were just seeing, like, you know, this person, they are a move runner. Like, they're, they are a pathological liar. You know? And they only did that to get what they want. They told you everything they wanted to tell you to get what they want. You feel know I me? Mean? And this person could have told you, like, you know, they was, like, still, for some of y'all, they could have told you, like, they still had ties to somebody that they was dealing with in the past, okay, and they're trying to close that cycle out, they still got, like, assets with this person, and, you know, 
like be patient with them, but it's like they wasn't trying to get out of that situation. If anything, they kept going back. It was like an on and off situation that they had going on with this other person that they could have been dealing with. And you realize that this person was lying about that and you walked through from their ass. Yeah, hang hey, man, this person is stuck in that situation. Can I find the three of pentacles? They thought that they were gonna have you and this other person to like piggyback off of. And things aren't going right over there, they come to you. And if y'all get into it, they're gonna go back to that person. Can I find the three of pentacles? And yeah, for some this person could have um six of wands. They could have tried to get you guys to have a threesome or something like that. Like, you know. Like I feel like this person, they could have been like picky your mind about certain stuff when it comes to like being intimate with another lover or being in a relationship with another lover. Like they could have brought it up to you, but you didn't think nothing of it. You thought they were just asking you a question the whole time. They were trying to see if you was into that because you see they they had somebody on the side here. They probably allowed this person to fuck around and do what the fuck they want to do. You know, that was open to this person, you know, having a threesome with them so this person won't leave. Because I'm saying if this person don't give what they want, they have a tip of tantrum, they're in, I'm going to find somebody that'll deal with the shit. And this person that they could have been dealing with was codependent on them. Didn't didn't want this person to leave. Had abandonment issues. Yeah, but you didn't with the Eight of Cups. So you left this person. You let them stay stuck with whoever allowed them to treat them this way. The Emperor. Can I find the Emperor? The Six of Swords. The Sun, yeah. You're going towards your Emperor, okay? <laughs> You're gonna be happy with this person. I'm seeing um, this person's coming towards you. They can have their own business, okay? Or they can like help you with your own business or something like that with the Emperor. Okay, but I'm seeing this person, they is like, you know, a leader in their community. Okay, a lot of people look up to this person. This person, they could um, receive a lot of attention. Okay, but just somebody here that's very assertive here. They don't play, you know. Now, I'm seeing this person, not with the, these childish ass games. Okay, they're very upfront. They tell it how it is. Okay. Swords. Yeah, I don't know why this person thought that they acted a certain way that that was gonna turn you on or you was gonna like it. Like you, I don't know what this person is used to, but they're used to bitches that set the bar low. Okay, switch the genders. When I say bitches, it's not gender specific. Okay, but this is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, the Five of Swords. People that they can lie to be deceptive to sneaky with and you know like I'm too many cards spirit when you surrender this connect with this person like this person really thought that you was gonna be into that shit like like this person thinks it's fun toxic is fun you know you want something healthy something that's genuine sincere okay positive okay yeah the empress you a whole motherfucking empress out here like you're not meant to Set the bar low. You're not meant to play it small. You're not meant to, you know, deal with the bare minimum. This person has a big ass ego. They're super cocky. You got nothing to be cocky for. Like, come on now, be for real. Yeah, the tower. Clarify the tower. And this person, they didn't realize that she was this inference here. Okay? I don't know if they thought that they could get over you or you were just some little side hoe or whatever they thought it was, but you wasn't that. Okay. Yeah, they used to dealing with people here that has low self-esteem, that don't have no type of confidence. Okay, people that's bird brains don't have a mind of their own. You know, people that gossip, that like drama, chaos, two-faced motherfuckers, just like them. Clarify the tower. 
yeah, the Hierophant and the New Moon. Yeah, this time I'm going to push you to go towards this new beginning here. Whatever you found out here, yeah, this person probably could have been married with the Hierophant here. They had a whole family somewhere else that they could have been tending to, or the case may be. It's like somebody put you in some shit that you unknowingly know that you was just finna get put into. Like this person, if they was honest, then you probably would have fucked with them. But this person was not honest at all. They just thought they could just get away with something and like this person would be thinking shit is not a big deal. You know, like they don't think it's it's a big deal, but it is. To you it most definitely was. So they're playing with you. They're playing with your intelligence. You feel me? They're just playing with you as a person. Like, you wasn't finna condone this shit. The moon, yeah, this person, they was hiding a lot from you with the moon here. And I thought you, you found out everything about this person. They didn't think that you was gonna find this shit out about them. Yeah, and you got justice in the situation. Okay? Period. Yeah, and it caused you to move, release the ass. Six of Swords. I feel like this person said some slick shit like, you're not going anywhere. Like, you're not going to never leave me. Like, I'm the best thing that happened to you. Like, you know. And I feel like you guys haven't been talking since. See, if I have a cup, this person have regretted what they said. And how they acted. And I feel like this person has a lot of emotional baggage here. Like, whoever that they're with, they're trauma bonding with this person. It's not genuine. It's not sincere. Okay. They're just there. Literally. Because this person needs somebody. Yeah, and I feel like you've had a lot of good fortune. A lot of blessings coming in for you. A lot of things turned in your favor. Okay. So I find the new moon. Head of Swords. Yeah, this person they shape shift a lot. So I find the new moon. The Eight of Wands. You can be seeing eight, eight, eight. I see a lot of money coming in for you as well. This person they has a mental a mental disability like. This person wants you to feel chapter or restricted, like, you know. Like, making you feel like you couldn't get away from them. Yeah, like, this person, they keep blowing you up, you know, trying to get your attention. If y'all, if they know your social media or anything like that, they try to get your attention on there. Post shit on purpose to try to get a reaction out of you or something like that. Like, I'm just seeing this person keep blowing you up or watch you. If they know you stay and shit like that, they most definitely watch you. Okay? Be a sword. Yeah, this person, they're bitter. They're miserable. Yeah. Two of cups. Yeah, because they're about to see you on a new connection here. And this is what you deserve. Like, somebody here thought that. <laughs> yeah, the star. And it's going to be genuine. Okay? This is your person that's coming through. you both going to be aligned with each other. It's going to be a healing love. Okay? No drama. No competition and gossip and temporary shit going on here. Like, this is your person that you're about to be with. Okay? And somebody here, they're going on to try to come in and make amends with you and say they're sorry and blah, 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 blah. But it's too late. Yeah. Somebody here is going to be heartbroken. Like, I feel like they had feelings for they had love for you, but this person, they don't know what love is, honestly. They're so used to toxicity and, you know, struggle, that struggle love. You don't want that shit. This person wants you to be with them while they treat you any type of way like a ride or die some shit like that and you're not doing that like you're not doing that i gotta go through all this shit to show you that i love you and i care about you i'd rather not the other bitch can do that shit you don't and i feel like they don't even want this other person to do it they're not even happy in that connection 
Okay, but you about to be happy in your connection. That's all that motherfucking matters. And this person, they're just going to have to just deal with what the fuck they did and move the fuck on. Okay? But I'm thinking this person obsessed with you. Like, they're trying to do everything in their power to get your attention or see you. Okay? Because they know what they did. They know that they fucked up. Okay? And now this person, they had these feelings and emotions that they can't um express to you because it's just like you're gone you know like they try to act like they didn't give a fuck like you know they don't have any feelings they're not a lot but whole time they do okay and they're seeing like oh like this person they're not giving to my my ways like this other person do like what's going on like yeah you don't know who the fuck you ran into you ran into a boss okay and you lost <laughs> that was corny but oh well y'all get what i'm trying to say but yeah so if you want to get the 10 minute reading for $10, okay, make sure you email me before Monday morning, okay, because I'm not taking no more people, okay, but I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity, if you did, don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe now, see you guys in my next video, bye.